My favorite guilty pleasure food is, of course, Taco Bell. You know, there's just nothing like getting it on a late night when you're gaming. You know, it's just... Ah. My favorite culinary travel destination has to be Japan. You know, there's something about the food that just has a simple complexity and just such precision in the way that it's prepared that, you know, I just really love it. But of course, I'm always open to the next travel destination and the next place I go, and the next kind of view on food that I'll take on. One of the three ingredients I always have in my fridge is mirin. You know, I always have it. It's just one of those ingredients that I can always use to mellow out anything, and it just has such an interesting complex flavor from the reduced sake. Another one is lemon, always have it, and butter. You know, you just gotta have butter. The first blog post I ever wrote was about ice cream. And you know, I was in the third grade, and it was my writing assignment to go out and have ice cream, which was like the coolest thing back then. And uh, then I go, I went home and I wrote about it. And uh, that's kind of how I started. And then I kind of grew it and I grew it. And then my blog got to be second on Urban Spoon. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. And uh, then Urban Spoon got bought by Zomato and, and crazy stuff happened. And, and blogging kind of, it kind of lost it for me. And so I went on to try different things, do different things with food and kind of pursue other schoolwork. There's absolutely no one food that I could eat for the rest of my life. You know, being stuck in one flavor and one dish for eternity would just kill me. You know, I could never create something different. I could never get out of it. And that would just, that'd be the worst. So there's absolutely nothing that I could eat for the rest of my life.